Welcome to Reread. We are on season two of The Clone Wars, episode one by Dave Filoni. This one's called Holocron Heist. There is a nice opening of the Battle of Felucia uh, that I really enjoyed. Again, nice action there. Uh, it's good. There are some good scenes there. It kept my attention the whole time. I was not bored. I remember later on in later seasons being so bored that I'd save up these episodes as they aired like three or four at a time. And then I just watch them all while I was trying to do something else. <laughs> I remember I was that bored at one time. That's during later on in the series. But right now, I was engaged. I was engaged. Uh, Jocasta New is in this one. I like it when they bring small characters from the movies and give them. Jocasta New is a great character. When she was in um, uh, Jude Watson's Jedi Apprentice series, I enjoyed that. I wish she would have gone on more adventures with them and stuff. But Jocasta New is this. Ahsoka's kind of been, uh, she's been getting in trouble. So Anakin puts her with Jocasta New, a very boring Jedi detail uh, to work in the Jedi library. But of course, it's going to turn out to be okay because as, uh, again, Cad Bane is back. He's really awesome. Uh, uh, Palpatine, or Darth Sidious, I should say, hires uh, Cad Bane to break into the temple and steal a holocron. Now, he gets a Claudite, uh, a changeling, to help him out, uh, who is changing shapes, and Ahsoka has to stop uh, the Claudite. Um, and eventually, Kay does escape with the um, holocron, but the whole time, the Jedi, who know there's an infiltrator in the Jedi Temple, they think he's going after information on the Clone Wars or documents. Or, they had no idea. It was all a big miss, a shell game where Cad Bane was outwitting them by making them think he was going one way. But really, he, his true objective was to grab a holocron, which they didn't see coming. Even Yoda says, oh, you know, we didn't think of this, you know. And I enjoyed that. Man, you mean a bounty hunter could dupe a bunch of, yeah, one of the best bounty hunters of his time. Cad Bane definitely could have done that. Now, what do I think happened to Cad Bane in the future? Like, did he was he around during episode four, five, and six? I hope not, because we didn't see him. It'd be better if he dies, you know, if someone actually kills him. Maybe Vader. He tries to cross Vader, and Vader wipes him out. That'd kind of be a cool story. But um, either way, Cad Bane, you know, just like Boa Fett can get the upper hand on some Jedi, Cad Bane could too, and I totally believe that. I totally see that as reality. So I... I really do enjoy the fact that he can, you know, kind of mess with the Jedi and get away with it. Cause that's what he does at the end. He gets away with everything. So uh strong opening to season one here. Um, the Jedi also conclude at the end of this episode that the Holocron um, has information on all where all the younglings are located. And this could be detrimental to the future Jedi. So now they're going to stop. They're going to contact the one Jedi master who can open the holocron or has access to the holocron uh, to warn him that Cad Bane may be hunting after him next. And so this kind of moves in to uh, episode two, which I'll talk about next time. But I want you, I want you to tell me if you're re watching along with me. Um, first off, how does the opening episode for season two for you? I thought it was a strong opening. I really did. It's giving us a villain that we actually enjoy. I thought Dirge from Tartossus Clone Wars was brilliant. And I like Cad Bane. He's different and he feels different, like a different character. And he's not like a dark Jedi or anything. And I, I like someone, I like when they think creative. So again, I'm going to compliment Dave Filoni's Clone Wars here and say good opening for season two. But anyway, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you next time on Rewatch.